You know, it doesn't really matter how new and cool your ATV is. When it's equipped with all stock parts, you're gonna look like pretty much everybody else out there. And those same stock parts aren't designed to push the limits of your ATV or side-by-side. -side. And here at Dirt Tracks TV, we're all about pushing the limits. Tires and rims have to be the number one aftermarket accessory for ATVs and side-by-sides. And while our Outlander 1000 XT does have a pretty nice looking set from the factory, we want to stand out in the crowd and enhance our off-road capabilities with larger diameter, more aggressive rubber. Now a company like STI knows about cool looking rims and aggressive rubber and hooked us up with this 28 inch set of Silverback X lights and 14 inch aluminum rims. And while they are only two inches larger than our stock 26s, they are way more aggressive. We decided to use four 10 inch wide matching tires on this build, as we believe the ability to rotate tires is important. It evens out wear, while a narrower rear tire also allows for better mud running capabilities. And since we plan to use this beast in some gnarly situations, I wanna be sure I've got a belt that's ready to transfer the one liter Rotax's power to the ground and turn these 28 inch X lights, no matter what terrain we encounter. Fact is, stock belts are great for just that, stock bikes or mild terrain. But if you're running larger or more aggressive tires, are playing a lot in the mud, or climbing steep rocky sections at lower speeds, then you know what? You need to upgrade your belt. Don't believe me? Well, consider this. On your CVT equipped ATV, the true link between the motor and power getting to the wheels is your belt. It takes all that abuse you deliver by running in high range when you should have been in low, brake torquing wheelies when showing off, wheel spinning torque loads when roosting out of a corner, and belt burning dry out sessions when you get the water or mud up to the clutch snorkel. Since we have the 1000cc Rotax under the seat, I've decided to use the XTX belt because it's built for extreme torque targeted at the most demanding rider who's gonna use their ATV in the most demanding terrain and require longevity. A belt change is something most ATVers can do on their own, in the comfort of your garage or out in the yard. However, we all know the horror stories of trailside belt changes when a stock belt has been abused for too long. You don't want to be in this situation ever. And while you may be thinking, why change a brand new or good looking belt? It's the same reason you put on a set of more aggressive tires and replace your mildly worn stockers. They aren't built for the job you're asking them to do. Daco belts go through the most stringent quality control and grueling testing to ensure that they'll perform no matter what you throw at them. And just because your belt isn't something you look at on a daily basis, doesn't mean it's something that should be overlooked. The XTX belt is built utilizing Kevlar and high temperature neoprene to increase strength. Tested in excess of 12,000 RPM, the XTX reduces slippage in high torque load situations, increases the responsiveness of engine braking, stays cooler thanks to its rib top design, and increases acceleration at mid and top end engine RPM. Boiled down, an XTX belt will outperform a stalker, delivering notable performance gains. With the clutch cover still off our Outlander, I want to take the time to regain the horsepower that we lost due to the 2 inch diameter increase in our tire size. We've got the belt to handle anything that we can throw at it, so in next week's episode, I'm going to show you how we can regain that power that we've lost.